Hey guys, welcome back to No Man's Sky. Today I've got a pretty different video from what I've done so far, and I think you guys might find this interesting. Now this video won't apply to everybody, but for those who does, does apply to you, if you don't know about this yet, I think this video could be pretty helpful for you. So guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks for all the support you guys continue to show me in the series. I really appreciate it. Also, keep in mind, we do have a Discord channel if you guys would like to go over there and uh, talk with the rest of the community. We've got an, um, uh, an amazing community, and it's massive now. I mean, there's thousands of people over there sharing tips and tricks and coordinates and all kinds of other things i mean it's it's people are very helpful so you're welcome to join us over there and i do want to say uh shout out to the guys over at discord a couple of people gave me this suggestion and i don't have all the name i don't have the names written down i feel bad about that uh, but some people gave me this suggestion for this video and so i wanted to make sure that i did say that this came from discord essentially this video is going to feature uh, some of the best mods for no man's sky now like i said this doesn't apply to everyone because only PC really can get this for um, through Nexus mods or some other mod site or something like that. But essentially, these mods are mods that I think are the best for the game. There's a there's a couple other ones we'll talk about, uh, but the ones that I really enjoy, the ones that I really like, and ones that I think that are for utility, the best ones that you can get. There are other ones uh, such as like bigger stacks or something like that allows you to stack up to a thousand, which could be kind of nice for some things. Uh, but like things like fast analysis is one of the is the first mod we'll talk about. So fast analysis is exactly what it sounds like it allows you to quickly analyze something that you don't like if you bring up your scanner and you know how long it takes to scan things sometimes some 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 beasts will float away out of the way and you can't really uh it still does that to me look at this place though so this is one of the mods we'll talk about here in a second uh, but this looks this might look a little different than what you are used to seeing on this planet so people are saying that they can't they couldn't see my you couldn't see my base because it is, uh, I don't know, not uploaded or something. But you can obviously see that people are building nearby. Somebody said it's not, they can't see it because I haven't uploaded it, which I have uploaded it. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on with it. Um, but it is, it's, it is uploaded. How fast that scans compared to normal, okay? And that is some big weird bird thing that was not here before. And I and I think I know why that's here, but we'll talk about that here in a second. So you can see how fast that scans, right? Normally, it things do not scan that quickly, right? Normally, it does not happen. And so this mad, mod, Faster Analysis, allows you to faster analyze things. So the next thing that I want to talk about is Fantastic Beasts. And I think that that's what this is right here. So there's Fantastic Beasts. And um, there's like aggressive ones. There's a bunch of different types, but uh, essentially there was an update. And I'm thinking the reason why this is here is because there was an update. And so basically, Fantastic Beasts, what it allows you to do is, you know, flying lizards are bigger. The worms in the sky, the sharks or whatever, they're bigger. They actually grab their, their uh, behavior is different. They grab prey from the ground. Um, birds are bigger. Uh, flight improvement, they get closer to the ground, things like that. Bigger and slower flying snakes, like I said. Massive sharks, whales, uh, even a T-Rex, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. Um, more creature encounters than in, in vanilla. And so this mod, stacked with another mod, is very, very helpful. The other one that I wanted to talk about right away as well is a mod called Simply More Fauna. Now I should say before we get any further into the video, if you don't uh, know how to do this. I'm not going to cover how to install mods, but it's extremely simple. Just go to Nexus Mods and look for No Man's Sky. Basically, Simply More Fauna. I keep reading what I'm going to say, and so I keep messing up my words. Um, Simply More Fauna allows for quick scanning of most things on the planet, and it makes a greater number of things show up uh, initially. So uh, I think it's changed a little bit because I just installed that other mod, but before when I would uh, spawn into the game, there would be tons and tons of little critters all around me. And I think the reason they're not here maybe is because they've, we've got like a different, a different change of these things. But essentially they were just everywhere. And actually now that I think about it, perhaps they don't work together. Or maybe there's an update for one of them. But there would be critters everywhere. And you could essentially like scan everything all at once. So. Uh, basically, Simply More Fauna allowed you to quickly scan pretty much everything on a planet. And so that is one of the best mods, I think, for utility-wise that you should definitely get. All right, so the, the next thing I guess we'll talk about since they're right here are these big giant things right here. So this 
This type of thing, that big old mass of plants, these were never here before. Uh, I'll kind of show you what the world looks like without these here. But essentially, uh, the, this is this is called this mod is called Alien World for Next, and basically, all of these different we're all different worlds can have different things spawn in it like there's more variety to the biome variations than just with vanilla now i don't necessarily like it because these are way too overbearing and they're everywhere like it's not tweaked ad accurately but it's a really cool mod and it brings a different change to the um to the planets okay so this is uh let me just show you this is what the world this is what this world looks like without the uh you know what i wonder if the reason why these little creators aren't spawning here is because of all these different comm stations around here maybe they're kind of moved out but you can see okay so this is the world without the fantastic beasts and the big old alien world things and so i think it's not that i don't necessarily not like the mod i think the one of the reasons why it kind of bugs me is because it make there there's a lot of them but it also makes me feel like they're like the uh the special planets like the blue planets and stuff like the blue star planets it makes me feel like those are less cool now because like everything kind of looks like that you know what i mean so it looks like yeah here they are i think that's what's going on the comm stations are maybe messing it up yeah people are dropping the base stuff i think that's what's going on um the comp stations are messing up the, these things were everywhere there's so many things all over the place so basically alien world for next gives us big structures the fantastic beast is a great one because it just a lot it just brings more uh like immersion because things are like massive You're like oh my gosh look at how big that thing is just really really cool and so you know you take pick and choose what you want and if you think this is these are cool mods uh i like fantastic beast i'm not as big into alien world for next because like i said it makes me feel like the special planets are less less uh cool you know what i mean all right so there's another one that i i want to talk to you about um but i, I have to it's going to take me a little bit of time to go find it but essentially um there are a bunch of other utility bills that you utility mods that you can get things like um essentially like if you have like fps problems you can get like an fps booster things like that and it actually works quite well i'm having some really weird issues right now i think one of these mods might be one of the mods that have needs to be updated it's kind of bugging out with me point with uh 1.58 is that 1.58 now did that update no 1.57 1.58 is not out yet uh so yeah so there's a bunch of different mods you can get there's another mod that i want to talk about it's called more exotics okay so a lot of people already know about this mod but essentially it's not fair to console and stuff but for pc you can get more exotics and basically what more exotic allows you to do is tweak how often you want an exotic ship to show up so you can do like double the current rate and then like all the time everywhere you can you can set it so they completely overwhelm all of the ships and pretty much nothing spawns but exotics and so you can get really really uh you can get any exotic that you want and so basically i don't like it all and all the time because i don't want exotics showing up everywhere but i did use it to pretty much acquire some of the exotics that I really was looking for that was that I was having a hard time finding. And so more exotics is a really great mod if you're looking to get like an exotic pretty easily or have it show up and you don't have the time to kind of sit around and wait for it to show up. You know what I mean? So there's one more mod that I want to show you before I end the video, but I have to find it. And so I might have to go to another planet because I don't think that planet actually has them. What? Speaking of which, what system, what kind of system are we in? Because it's going to depend. On, well, it's not going to... It's not gonna like really do anything like uh to like against this essentially. Okay, I cannot for whatever reason I cannot deselect this area. There we go. What the heck, Corvax? Okay, that was really strange. I was unable to get out of that. That was very strange. Okay, so here it is right here. This is one of them. Now this is really interesting though because this is supposed to be in a in the. The Corvax system. Are we in Corvax? I thought we were Viking. Oh, we are in Corvax. Uh, okay, so in the Corvax system, there are these big, gigantic alien wheel things. And they're pretty much found at any supply depot. Now, there are supply depots on the other planet as well, but they're just super hard to find. So this, this, uh, this mod uh, allows for these types of big, giant things to show up. It's called Alien Structured Deposits for next and so pretty much anywhere there's like a big old 
uh, there would be a supply depot, like a, like those little things, there would be something like this. And so it, it's a really, it's a really cool, I think I can look up, there we go. It's a really cool mod because it, it just like, I, I don't know, it adds more to the game and there's like various different things. So Gex systems have like these big kind of jagged um, buildings. I think it's from like the E3 announcement type of thing. And then Corvax has these big alien rings and then uh, Viking has big towers as well. And so there's three different types. Uh, I like I like it because it's just like a cool thing. You can kind of cruise around like, oh my gosh, look at that. There's also like atmospheric freighters and things like that where you can like over any crash freighter, there will be a, uh, you know, like a frigate. And so uh, just another really cool uh, mod that you can get. I mean, there's a bunch of different mods, but there's a bunch, there's a few utility ones that are really good, like FPS boosters, more stacks, faster analysis, uh, simply more fauna, stuff like that. Uh, and then there's like really good graphical ones. Like I, I have another one that I'll show you. I'll go back to this planet and I'll show you another mod that is actually really cool. And it changes the way, uh, another way the world, the world changes, like the, the graphics and whatnot. And it's in, and I think it's a really cool one that I don't know why I don't have it on right now, but I'll show it to you when we get there. All right. So like I said, I don't know why I didn't have this on, but have you ever seen uh, like, you know, like the white crap that you get around the edge of the water. Well, there is an actual mod that can make that better for you. Oh, look at all the birds up there. Holy smokes. They're everywhere. The birds are everywhere. Oh, they're back. My little guys are back. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so yeah, that's what happens with the mod, with that mod. There's just, things are everywhere. So you ever seen that white crap around the water? Well, there's a mod called Coastal Waves that will take away that white nasty graphic problem that happens right here um, and then also the the other thing is crystal clear water is the other mod so you can like see through the water let me just make it day so you guys can see what it looks like look at that look at how beautiful that is doesn't that look amazing so that this type of mod right here is a really good one uh, for general improvements and things like that it just makes everything look so much better and so there's a bunch of different mods that you can get that can make things look better than you know make the game look better than what it what it has in the past and uh, it's something that I think is worthwhile to get like various different mods that are worthwhile to get like I said some are some are great utility mods some can just make the game look beautiful and I don't know it's up to you what you think about uh, various different things but I I think that certain mods make a whole heck of a lot of improvement and can really change the way the game looks and the way the game feels. And like, you know, I think you need to strike a balance between uh, like a good utility mod, like faster analysis, which I mean, there's no reason really for them to take that long. And then something like, you know, big stacks, because that kind of eliminates some of the you know point of getting storage and things like that, uh, or more exotics. I mean, if you want to get one exotic and you're having a hard time finding one, you can always get it and you can always install it for a little bit, just uh, you know, just to find the exotic that you want, and then take it off. You know, so I don't know. It's up to you guys. I think that there's some really cool mods you can get. Like I said, this it, unfortunately not everybody can get these mods, but uh, I hope that you're able to really. Oh, we got a guy's base that popped up here. 313 units. Oh, people's bases have popped up finally. Sweet. Okay. Uh, some people's bases weren't popping up before, so we do have a we do have some of these bases right right nearby. Let's go check it out before we end the video. I I don't know. It's up to you. I just thought that I'd show you some of these mods because there definitely are some pretty cool ones that are out there that can really make the game feel way. Oh, it's just a just a base upload thing. Okay, so it's still, still bugged out for me. I don't know what's going on, but I guess I can't see it. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching it. Let me know what you think of this video. You want to see more stuff like this? You kind of want like me to rank things or something? I don't know. Be curious to hear your hear your thoughts on it. I hope you found it helpful or interesting or something. Uh, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Stay positive. Be blessed. Catch you guys next time.